Welcome to GoLeopards.com. My name is John Leone, and I'm here today with the head coach of the Lafayette College men's basketball team, Fran O'Hanlon. And uh, Fran, today we're going to talk about two more additions to your program. And uh, if I do say so myself, I've had the chance to check out their videos, and uh, they promise to be very good additions. So, uh, Coach O, uh, first of all, how are you doing in the age of COVID? And uh, how did you go about finding these guys? And, uh, and, and maybe talk a little bit about the impact uh, that the uh, the whole pandemic has had on the recruiting process. Sure, it, it's been an interesting season, John. And, you know, we we've, we've been fortunate during the season that we didn't have any disruptions from us as a team personally. Um, obviously, it's been it's been challenging for our guys uh, to to stay healthy and and to avoid uh, to avoid people for the most part. You know, uh, we're excited about the 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 two guys that we just signed. Uh, you know. Uh, where we found one of them, the kid from Florida, Devin Hines, is a kid that um, I've known his coach for a long time. Uh, you might probably know his dad, uh, Coach O'Connell, who was at Rutgers Prep for the longest time. Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, now John O'Connell's down there. His son has been coaching St. Andrews in Florida and has had a lot of success, a lot of Division One players, and, uh, and he has another one here in Devin who we're very excited about. Uh, CJ, um, you know, Fulton is a guy that I've known about for a while because his exchange program, St. Malachi's, comes over, plays Bonner uh, every year. They have kind of a little exchange from uh, Belfast. Obviously, I know Kevin uh, Keogh is, is a coach at Winchington now, but I've known about CJ for a while. They've all raved about him. Paul Cummings, uh, one of my former players, has seen him, um, you know, in so, you know, they've been well vetted as far as uh, the guys that we trust. It's been an interesting year as far as recruiting because you can't get out to see them personally. Uh, so you do it with um, by vetting them with people that you trust very much, watching obviously a lot of film. Um, so we, we're we're pretty sure these kids are going to be very good players, uh, you know, uh, coming in. And, and then whenever freshmen come in, we're always excited. Um, Hope it's another good recruit that's calling you there. It's actually, it's, a, <laughs> it's actually a guy that wants to talk to me about scheduling. So oh, uh, bingo. <laughs> another guy, you know, Ronnie Ganulin. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. Five star Ganulin. Yeah. Oh, so, God, Names so out of the past. He called me, he wants to play us. Obviously he must've saw that we're losing a couple of guards. You know how this works. So. <laughs> Ronnie Ganulin. Oh yeah. He, he's, he's a legend up at five star camp all the time. And, uh, well, uh, back, to, back to our guys, Coach, um, you're talking about, you know, vetting these guys, and it's so good to have the, the network the network that you guys do, uh, because I know how important it is uh, for you to not only evaluate how, how well a, a, a kid can play, but uh, what kind of player he is. I, I love Pete Carrillo's comment that, you know, let me watch a kid play for 15 minutes, and I'll probably be able to tell you all you need to know about him as a kid. But you've had personalities and character as well, and that's paid off very, very well for you. Uh, so that, that's good to know. Let's uh, let's take a look at, uh, first of all, let's go to CJ. CJ Fulton, first of all, uh, a little Irish connection here, I think, Coach. So between you and O'Boyle and Quinn, are you guys going to have a two-on-two -two contest to figure out who the best Irishman is in, uh, on, on the roster? <laughs> <laughs> going to be interesting there. I know, uh, you know, uh, when we when we signed, uh, you know, uh, uh, Quinn, you know, uh, Neil said, "Hey, the Irish are taking over Lafayette." And I'm thinking, you better score a point first. Before you say that, <laughs> right. Quinn, Neil. <laughs> well, well, well. This young but man, the Irish are never. They, they don't lack for uh, for confidence, you know. Yeah. Um, he hasn't scored a point yet, and he's talking about how good we're going to be. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know who this young guy reminds me of just a little bit is uh, uh, Alex Petrie, sort of. You know, he's he's a little crafty with that ball. He's got a great uh, uh, kind of first step and and uh, a low release, but uh, it's quick. And you, if you get up on him, he's going to go past you. And uh, it's unfair to make those kinds of comparisons so early, but. Uh, Geez, coach, he's got some great ball skills and looks like his uh, those skills will fit well into your system. Yeah, he he really moves the ball well. He's very skilled uh, and, as you said, crafty, can really pass the ball. Mm. Um, and, you know, the thing about, uh, you know, CJ, he's played at, he's played in the Super League, uh, the men's league in in uh, in Ireland and been the newcomer of the year there. So he's played against 
you know, strong, bigger, stronger. Um, so he's, he's well primed, I think, to come in here and ready to play. Uh, obviously, you get, there's a lot of things you have to adjust to, speed of the game, picking up things that we do. But uh, he's played at a high level. Well, he, he looks like he's going to know what to look for. I mean, you saw the other thing that stood out as, as I make this point, it, the teams that these guys have played for and, uh, you know, Devin in particular, that I want to talk to you about his high school team a little bit because they look, look like a college team at times. And of course, the, the, the film clip that we just saw on CJ, uh, he absolutely, the way he executes a pick and roll, he kind of probes coming off that screen, all the little nuanced stuff that you take a lot of time trying to get kids to see, he seems to see it already. Absolutely. And I, I, I better say this, he's been well coached. His dad coached him in Ireland. Adrian, <laughs> there you go. Adrian was on the, Nash, the Irish national team. Uh, he was coached by Bill Dooley, if you remember Coach Dooley. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, because these guys are all... Yeah, it's all connected. You know, uh, Bill was the national coach of Ireland. But yeah, Adrian is an excellent coach, one of the well thought out, thought of coaches in Ireland. So he's been well, well schooled. Um, and so hopefully I don't mess him up at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he, uh, we're excited about both these guys, you know, okay. and, uh, along with our other freshmen that are coming in. Well, yeah. And if you were excited about uh, the folks watching, if you were excited about CJ, uh, where do you see Devin? Uh, we're going to move on now to Devin, uh, Devin Hines, a young man from Florida. And uh, uh, boy, they list him at 6'4". And uh, he, he, I'm watching the film clip and you'll see in a moment, he plays like he's Six seven. I mean, this with with guard skills. There you see his finish on a fast break, and that's him. Uh, that's a swing guard, Devin Hines. And uh, as you're watching Devin play here, those of you tuning in, uh, just check out this team he plays for. This young man has surrounded himself with great players, and he is the engine it seems that makes this team go. Yeah, they have. I mean, they play uh, in a league. His team has a number of Division One prospects, high Division One prospects. Uh, uh, he's been playing in that type of environment the last couple of years. He's been coached, as I said, by John O'Connell, who's an excellent coach, well thought of. They're the state champs, 3A. Um, he brings a lot to the table. Um, and uh, one of the things that I love about Devin, he was so excited to sign with the Leopards. It's always nice when somebody is very excited uh, to Absolutely. be a Leopard. That's, uh, that's terrific. Uh, what what do you think uh, it was that uh, – that, that, that gave him that mindset because he, well, he had transferred from another high school. He went to uh, St. Andrews, a very good school. Academically, he liked the fit of a Lafayette. Um, he loved the Patriot League. So he, um, and I'm sure the coach will kind of talk to him about Lafayette. And, and uh, I also have another young, another friend there, Tom Cubitt, who, if you remember his, uh, his brother, a coach at Mercersburg, coach Mark Jamie Hughes. From Syracuse. So he, yeah. Oh my so gosh. He used to talk to me about, you know, Tom used to talk to me about uh, um, Devin. He, he saw all the games because he lives down in, in that area. So, uh, as I said, he's been well vetted. You know, people talk very highly of him. Obviously, what I've seen on film um, is, is important to us. But, you know, it's nice to have people around that you trust that have seen him live. Um, Absolutely. And, you know, you, you, it's you know, when you're in a, a position like you are coach at, in the, at the Patriot League level it is as much about unfortunately the known quantities the guys that you're losing uh even more so than the guys coming in because freshmen uh become sophomores and that's the best thing that can happen because there's, yeah. there's a learning curve but and it's unfair to hang this hat on them but it's, as I'm watching Devin you know I'm reminded a little bit of of, of uh, EJ and some of the things that EJ can do but then there's a little uh, a sense of, of the, the, the kind of ball handling and craftiness that uh, uh, that Justin brings. And that's, you know, the, what, what you're losing is a lot. There's big shoes to fill. And, uh, you know, talk about that projection. Yeah, there's no doubt that we're losing a lot. But, you know, coming in, you're looking at uh, someone like EJ and Justin and Alex, who were all freshmen and all had big moments and played lots of minutes for us and had a lot of success as freshmen. We're hoping that these freshmen come in and, and um, I know some of them are going to have a lot of time to play and make an impact. And hopefully they can do what Justin and, and EJ and, and, uh, and Alex did when they were freshmen and the success that they've had. Uh, what, one of the good things about all these freshmen coming in, they've played 
for very good coaches. Um, and they've played at a pretty high level, both uh, whether it's in, in Ireland or in, in Florida. Coming from winning programs is so important when, because they bring the winning, they're, they're used to winning. Um, and uh, that, that's important for us, uh, that culture. You absolutely cannot, it's an immeasurable. It's an immeasurable, it's one of those intangibles. And I know you build your, you build your team, you build your, uh, uh, your team culture uh, around that kind of intangible coach. And it's good to see you got a couple more kids coming in. Um, we, we hope for the best. Is it uh, fair to ask you uh, about some breaking news that you just uh, shared with me about the scheduling next year? Because uh, I don't know. Sure, if we, we have a very uh, challenging schedule other than some of the teams we knew, normally play. Uh, Penn, Princeton, who, as you know, are always perennially uh, one of the top teams in, in that league, uh, along with Columbia and Cornell. Uh, we also will be playing um, Syracuse next year. Uh, you're going to your hometown. Um, and we're playing Rutgers uh, this coming year, which uh, another team that went to the NCAA this year. And we're playing a team that wasn't in the NCAA this year, but kind of has been in there a number of times is Duke. Um, so, uh, All right. yeah, I, uh, so I'll, I'll have to look them up and see if I can. <laughs> our schedule is uh, is very challenging, and then you get into league. So uh, it it prepares us well for league. Uh, it will help develop us uh, and that challenge and the different styles that we'll play. Uh, and I think it's exciting for the guys to play that kind of schedule. Yeah. Well, Coach, what will be just as exciting is, is hopefully watching you guys play uh, in a normal setting in a full court and with Gary and I back on the sideline again, at least. Uh, hated that this year. It was just so difficult. And I never realized how much I would miss actually physically being in a gymnasium. It has been I've never spent a, a full year outside of a hardwood floor and it's been miserable. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you, John. And we're so coach, listen, we're looking forward to it as well. Oh yeah, I bet. Well, listen, congratulations on a, a terrific recruit uh, recruiting year. Of course, these guys uh, join uh, Isaiah Thompson and, and uh, Chris Rubio, a, a six, nine kid, uh, Isaiah, another guard uh, in, in a, what turns out to be a terrific recruiting class. So congratulations to that coach. Thank you for spending time with us and sharing it with us. And uh, I'll get the travel itinerary ready for our trip to Syracuse uh, next year. All right. Very good there, Chad. <laughs> Thanks again, Coach. Good luck. We'll see you soon. Thank you.